when you've gone through these different phases in your life, you've kind of changed your perspective on different topics. One of them I'm interested to talk to you about to, to understand where you're where you're at now is the idea of masculine versus like feminine energy. Um, I've heard, you know, a lot of guys, they, they think, you know, in order you need to get in touch with your feminine side. And this is something that always kind of like rankled me. I didn't really like this. It's like, uh, I don't, I don't feel like I've got a feminine side and, um, I just have different parts of a masculine side. And I wonder if that's like a semantic issue or if it's, there's some truth to it. What do you think about this? Like, do men need to get in touch with a feminine side? We've done that too much. We've become big effeminate crybabies over the past 40 years. And so we've done that. And I see great value in it. I do see value in that. This understanding that there's an aspect of tenderness. But in that, we've beat out all aggression in men. And so anything that is uh, indicative of any form of traditional masculinity is denigrated. And so I also am convinced that this is none of this is by accident. And I don't believe it. And I believe it's I'm a conspiracy theorist, by the way. I believe it's a uh, I am too, mostly, a great so. <laughs> ideological subversion meant to destroy a culture, because if you weaken the men and you turn make women masculine, you destroy family. And by it's worked. Right. right. Families don't work. Nobody's getting married. And if they do, it's like 60 percent divorce rate. Right. Why? Because the men are weak. They're effeminate. They're addicted. They're lazy. They're crybabies. They're in touch with their emotions. They put the pussy on the pedestal and women. They're getting degrees. They're getting jobs. They're climbing the ladder. They're slapping men on TV and it's OK. You see what right. I'm saying? So yeah. by doing so and now we've got, you know, we're at the peak of this now with transgenderism. So it's like now we become so subjective, which is a fruit of feminism, this deep subjectivity, even the whole movement that you described in terms of women's uh, spirituality. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole, but that's a perversion also. Men created religion. It, it's always been men as far back as even Hinduism, the oldest religion on, on the on the earth. Uh, it's, it's, it's a masculine religion. But anyway, but we live in diabolical times that have been disoriented and turned backwards. So you end up with women behaving a whole lot like men, thinking a whole lot like men, doing doing ugly things for women. And you got men doing the same exact thing. It's ugly. The other day I was reading a really good blog post. Uh, I don't remember the author of it, but he's talking about this very nature of masculine and feminine virtues. <clears throat> it's OK. In fact, it's important for a man to have some feminine virtue but not at the expense of a foundation of masculine virtue. In other words, it's okay for a man if, he, if he's, say, what's a, a, a masculine virtue? Uh, he's assertive, right? Yeah. An assertive man, but he also is merciful. Say just in mercy, right? Just in mercy, he's just, right? I lay down a just punishment, but he's merciful, right? Like they say Jesus is, he's just and merciful, a good balance. But if, it, if, a, if a man is to, if he is to turn away from just, right, just, just action in a moment that requires what only a man can do, which is to fight and to stand up, right? Because our bodies are, we're built that way. We're right. weapons. Women aren't, aren't weapons. Uh, we're built that way. But if we, if we relinquish our duty to be just in order to, uphold this merciful ideal we're a useless man you're a useless man yes it's good to be merciful but you've turned away from your utility as a man by not executing justice and it's the same way with a woman for a woman to be so hard lined that justice comes before mercy means she's a useless woman hmm. that's interesting so there's a balance but it's not a 50 50 balance it may be more like a 80 20 balance a man must exhibit most mostly masculine virtue if he's going to be useful as a man. 